Hi, today we're going to be going over my tattoos again. I did a tattoo dedicated video years ago, but I had a cold during it. And so the whole time I was talking with like a stuffed up nose and I want to reshoot it. I have better equipment now. I can edit better. I just think it's time. So hopefully you guys are down for this. It's a video that gets requested the most, I would say, just explaining what tattoos I have and why I have them. We're going to cover them all again. We're going to go back over some of the ones that I've discussed previously, but also a lot of the new ones I've gotten since then, because it's been some years since I shot that video. I also have a lot of dogs right now, so just pardon if you see a bunch of fluffy butts walking around. I run a part-time puppy hotel, and so I've got three extra dogs on top of my two. So you're welcome, because there's going to be some cuteness walking around behind me, hopefully quiet. They're all napping. <laughs> my legs are kind of a free-for-all. I can do anything I want on my legs at any time. I can add a sleeve to one if I want to, but for the most part, I want to use them as collectors pages for traveling so if i'm going somewhere and i want to get something i can toss it on my leg and i've got space for it my arms were dedicated to sleeves my back is an empty space that's dedicated for a back piece same as my butt so i don't want to do anything in that area everything is off limits for that but my legs I can collect so random things can go there and that's why I have these fun little collectors pieces that I just get on my travels my husband and I were going to Lake Tahoe and we stopped off in Sacramento and we went to his friend's shop this one I got in Lake I got in Sacramento with my husband and um, it's just you know kind of a luck charm I got it mostly because it's kind of a luck charm and then I love anything equestrian so I'm really into like horses I love farms I love being around horses I'm such a weirdo I just love the smell of a barn is that weird <laughs> that's weird TMI don't tell people that but I just love equestrian stuff so this likely is not going to be the last horse themed tattoo that I'll ever get and actually that'll just take us to the other side so that brings us to my other leg which on the same spot on the other side is another horse themed sort of tattoo and that's Pharaoh's horses I've always liked the look of Pharaoh's horses it's just such a like classic tattoo choice uh, I really liked the rope detail on it and I got the three different horse heads in various colors and I really like it. It's a fun one. It's the most recent one that I got and it matches the other side perfectly. So I'm really into symmetry and having things kind of balanced on both sides. It drives me crazy when one side's done and the other's not. So it's, it was really nice to complete the collection on my front thigh. Now we're gonna go to the left side of my thigh. There I have Lucille Ball. And this actually was done by my husband's really good friend that he grew up with. And so he was here guest spotting in Seattle. And I just was like, this is the perfect time to get something from him. So I've always wanted to have Lucille Ball on me in some way because she's a huge idol to me. I love that she's classic, but funny and pretty and wears cute outfits and does her hair. I mean, she's just all wrapped up in all the things that I love. So I just had to have a Luso Ball tattoo. I really like her hair and I like the detail of her um, like accessories with the pearls, but I love it. It's Lucy and I love Lucy. So we're just gonna go ahead and move on down to the tribute part of my leg, which is my dog who had passed away. His name is Booger. I had him for almost 16 years from puppy all the way up until the, the, his last breath. And it was a very, I really can't even still talk about it. I don't talk about it a lot. Um, for me, it's, it becomes too emotional. I'm very attached to my animals like children. So for me, I just don't talk about it because I can't, like I'm gonna cry right now. So, um, <laughs> but I loved him, still do with all of my heart. The dancing Shih Tzu dog is actually a tattoo that the artist Timothy Hoyer has done a few times or just even drawings he likes to draw dancing animals or dancing dogs and I think one of the ones that I saw him draw was his own dog and I just said that's it that I have to have my dog do a version of my dog doing that and he's almost t like chasing a butterfly we actually went up north in Washington where Timothy Hoyer was guest spotting and it was really nice because the whole shop was actually closed and it was just him and me and my husband. And then I got to bring little Booger so that he can model for the tattoo. So he drew it up right there and we did the tattoo and it's probably the most special one that I have, I would say. And by somebody so epic, like 
Timothy Hoyer is a pretty big deal in the uh, whole tattoo world. So if you've heard of him, you will know what I'm talking about, but he's also a, an amazing guy. Like he's just super cool and super nice and just an awesome person. Sorry if you can hear snoring. I believe the frog, which is a Frenchie pug, he's gonna snore for a while now. <laughs> I'm not gonna wake him up because he's being still. So you're gonna have to listen to that. <laughs> but Bug is my um, dog who passed name. His, na his nickname was Bug. His actual name's Booker, but Bug was what we called him. And uh, that was um, a fundraiser for a dog rescue. And they were taking donations by getting tattooed. And so I thought, well, if this is for a dog donation, I'm gonna get a dog tattoo. And then that's it on my legs. I have plenty of room for more. <laughs> I have nothing on my stomach. I have just a couple of little stars on my back and my back is empty. So let's just move on up to here. <laughs> my chest is a old one, but a good one. I got this a long time ago. This was probably 15, 16 years, even longer maybe. Long time. And it's uh, done by Will Lolly. I believe that he's located in maybe New York now or where is he now? I'm not actually sure where he is now, but he was at the time doing tattoos out of Empire, Empire Tattoo in Asheville, North Carolina, and that's where I got this one. And it is some roses with an owl, and this is another tribute to a pet. This was my cat that I had. I always look like an owl, but I thought having a Himalayan sitting on my chest would be a little bizarre, so I went with an animal that to me would be more timeless, but look like my cat so it has kind of like my cat's eyes I mentioned it to will about how like maybe some flowers and a owl with a crown on it would be cool and that's kind of where we went with it so it doesn't really have like too much meaning with the crown being this like king owl like it's not a big thing but it is just um uh, it's my cat my sleeves are both done by jay chastain who at the time was the owner of empire i believe he sold it or i'm not sure actually but he did both my sleeves he's an amazing very talented artist and um i was one of those lucky girls that was dating one of the guys that worked at the shop and so these were gifts and i'm very grateful and i feel like if i ever win a bunch of money i'm just gonna send jay a satchel of cash as a thank you <laughs> but it was um a gift from my boyfriend so um, that was a very long time ago, and I'm still very appreciative of it. It's, you know, something I'm going to have forever. So uh, that's the thing about tattoos is make sure that whoever does them is somebody that you like <laughs> or else you're screwed. Okay, Griffin Griff. Oh, God. Oh, God, lady. This is a Brussels Griffin Schnauzer mix, and they're called Sniffers. Are you a sniffer? She needs a groom. <laughs> very bad. Mm-hmm. She's one of my guest dogs, but I love her. She's like a little potato. So he did a peacock on the right side with some flowers. It's a beautiful tattoo. I love it so much. I am so proud. I have had people ask me that. Should I just get a few and what should I, or should I plan it and get a sleeve? I say get a sleeve. The cohesiveness of it and just the artist gets to have fun with it. I feel like they have way more fun designing something that's going to be a bigger piece that is going to be a story and just give them more creative reign. And uh, I did give creative control to Jay for both my sleeves. I said kind of what I want and then he went with it. So that's, that's all him. But um, this one up here is not Jay. This all down here is. And the, it's like flowers and we've got peonies. We've got a koi. I've got another koi fish, but one that's actually like a legit Japanese style koi fish. And it looks, it looks great. And I, he had to compete with this sweet armband that I got. And this is a regrettable tattoo. So that's why um, I'll only cover up things that, uh, I, I would regret, but I think at this point, I know now not to get things that I would regret. Uh, this was in the beginning stages of tattoos, and I was like, ew, I'm gonna get an Iron Man, and it was a terrible idea, but he covered it up pretty good. He, well, I had the option of getting it lasered, and I was like, nah, I actually kind of want to be able to point to it, because <laughs> you can't really notice it unless I point it out, and then you're like, yeah, sweet, that's a sick armband. <laughs> But uh, this was by Gary Clark, who 
is based out of like the Washington DC area and that's where I grew up Virginia DC all that so he was a old friend of mine and he did that one um, he's not an old friend he's a friend from a go <laughs> Now we are at my throat, and that is one of my most favorite tattoos. I love it so much. I'm so glad I got it. I don't regret it one bit. It wasn't even that painful, believe it or not. It really wasn't. And this was done by Jamie King. He is a Seattle-based tattoo artist, and he's also a heavy hitter. He's known by a lot of the um, respected artists in the industry, I would say. And uh, he's an awesome dude, also. He's a really cool guy. Yeah, he did this lotus on my throatus, <laughs> and I love it so much. This one is like kind of newer as well. It's about a year old. Uh, the intention is to fill in all of this space back here with some sort of like Japanese smoke. So a lot of this that you see up here, I just want to extend over and then possibly meet the other side with the waves because I've kind of got like a sky and water thing going. So I think it'd be cool to just have them meet in the middle. That will be the next like filler plan but it's not as exciting when you want to get tattooed you want to get something fun and new and getting filler is just kind of like monotonous um, but it'll look really cool so I hope to get that done soon my hands I got done in Seattle they're both by the same guy this is Matt Lentz who did these I love this perfume bottle it's one of my favorite tattoos it just is really like themed to me since I'm in the beauty industry you know since I do permanent cosmetics and um just regular cosmetics so I think that anything that's like in the beauty industry is a tattoo that like speaks to my soul because that's what I've been doing for so long and then this one is just a little flapper lady I thought she was just cool and I was just trying to find something that would balance the other side because I got this first and then I got this right or did I I can't remember it was a long time ago terrible memory and then doll face I just got because uh doll face pin up I don't know I got that one a long time ago it was actually like an idea of my boyfriend's and he was like hey you should get doll face and I was like yeah that's good <laughs> that'll fit I originally wanted to get the lucky charms I'm glad he talked me out of it because I was about to do like heart stars clovers and balloons you know that like <laughs> lucky charms but I'm glad I got doll face I think um and then I just have some whiny teardrops on the inside which I always forget that I have these and they're really blown out now so <laughs> They don't even look like teardrops. They look like hexagons. That's it. Is that it? That's my uh, tattoo talk. Oh my gosh, is that it? Holy crap, that's it. Um, yeah, that's my tattoos. I thought it'd be fun to sit down with you guys and do that. I'm glad that I did. <laughs> the dogs made it through this whole thing without being obnoxious. I'd say it's a win. I'd say it's a win. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.